Hey everybody, welcome back to The Lowdown. I am Robert Rosenfeld and this is the show that breaks down the top stories of the tech world and gives you the info you really need to know every Tuesday and every Thursday. And now that the Note 9 is out, Samsung can move full speed ahead and get to work on the Galaxy S10. And we've got some juicy information, some exclusive info on that phone that you're not gonna hear anywhere else but right here. So sit back, relax, listen up, and get excited for the Galaxy S10. Here's The Lowdown. According to our sources, Samsung is going to release three new Galaxy S10 phones this spring, following with Apple and adding a third lower priced model to their lineup. And the three new phones are codenamed Beyond Zero, Beyond One, and Beyond Two, with Zero being the budget version, Beyond One being the standard S10, and Two the S10 Plus. And we're hearing rumors right now that the lower end model will have a 5.8 inch screen, similar to the current size of the S9 screen, while the standard S10 will get a slight screen size bump to somewhere between six and 6.1 inches, and the S10 Plus model may also get a bit bigger, going from 6.2 to 6.4 inches. But again, these are subject to change. They're just rumors at this point. But some of the juiciest pieces of information we have on the new Galaxy S10s has to do with their cameras. We're learning that all three of these phones will have the same two cameras, a wide angle lens with a variable aperture of f1.5 and f2.4, a super wide angle lens with an f1.9 aperture, and the larger S10 Plus will be the only of the three phones to have a triple camera setup adding a third telephoto f2.4 lens to the wide and super wide angle lens. And despite some recent reports, our source tells us that the new trio of Galaxy flagship phones may not have an in-display fingerprint reader built in after all. We're hearing it's currently being tested on this new fleet of phones, but it may not be perfected and ready to go in time for mass production and the launch of the new flagships. It's also long been rumored that we could see a true Face ID competitor from Samsung finally emerge with special built-in hardware on the phone, but the details on this are still very much unknown right now. We haven't seen any big leaks recently to give this any credibility, and it's all just kind of rumors and speculation at this point. As far as design goes, the new Galaxy S10s are rumored to retain slim bezels. They will not have a notch, and may look a little bit more like the Note 9 in terms of design. Besides screen size, we don't know much else about that lower end S10 model. We don't know price, we don't know if it could have a smaller battery, or maybe it's missing some more premium features the other models have, but seeing that it will most likely have the same camera system as the regular size S10, it looks to be a very compelling option that could come with a lower price tag. We don't have any additional information regarding onboard storage or price or anything like that, but as soon as we get it in, we will let you guys know. And one last bit of information for you guys today. We're being told the next generation of the Note, the Note 10, is codenamed DaVinci, and development on it started just two weeks ago. So what do you guys think of the Galaxy S10? Is the addition of a lower price model to this lineup interesting for you guys? Maybe you would now consider the new S10 when you couldn't consider the S9 before because of the price. Also, what do you think of that triple camera setup on the S10 Plus? Looks pretty cool. Leave a comment down below and let us know, and you could be featured if you leave a comment in the next episode of The Lowdown. And if you missed our rumor roundup on the OnePlus 6T, we went into all the details on that phone, and Joshua Keys left a highly rated comment and said this. Sounds weird for you to say that traditional two camera setup. Crazy how times change. Joshua, first off, thank you so much for commenting and watching. And secondly, yeah, it sounded weird to even say that. We're seeing more and more phones on the market right now with three cameras. The S10 Plus is probably gonna have three cameras. And as camera technology gets better and we get more improvements on these smartphones, four or five, maybe six cameras are going to make their way onto flagship smartphones. Who knows what's gonna happen, but for me, the more cameras, the better. All right, guys, that's all I've got for the lowdown today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you want more tech news to follow, check out technobuffalo.com. Of course, I'll always be back here on Tuesdays and Thursdays breaking down tech news. And we've got a lot of other tech videos on the channel for you to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys back here on Thursday.